I believe that God has created all people equal, and that's why the human value is absolute. It is the same in each person. I think that this is a very important starting point in, in politics. I am married to my husband, who is a pastor of the Finnish Lutheran Church and he is also a principal of Bible College. And we have five children, also six lovely grandchildren from the ages of three months to seven years. I'm suspected of two crimes just now. And the first one was a Twitter case uh, that was at that time aimed and directed to the leadership of my church. And the other case is a pamphlet uh, that I wrote 16 years ago. It was published year 2004. And it is a booklet about sexual ethics, about marriage between man and woman. And it is also connected with Bible teaching. This is a case that is about our freedom to express our faith, our convictions, our freedom to voice opinions in the public square without fear of censorship and certainly without fear of police investigation. This kind of police investigation tend to have a shilling effect in, in our society so that some people are afraid to use their freedoms to teach what Bible says or practice their faith. I want to defend also the rights of other people to express their faith and, and also to use the freedom of speech. International law, as well as Finland's own constitution, robustly protects freedom of religion and freedom of expression. This case is, is so important, not just the case itself and for Pavi Razanen, but for the whole of Finland and in fact the whole of Europe, because everyone's watching on, uh, looking at this case and thinking, if someone can be investigated by the police for tweeting a, a picture, some Bible verses, and a pamphlet that was written 15 years ago, then really, are any of us safe? Is any of our speech safe? In a truly free society, ideas should be fought with other ideas, not with the threat of criminal sanctions or criminal penalties.